The bite was on April 9th. From my understanding, the the mother took the son to the hospital and part of hospital records is you have to explain what happened and then we're called out to explain the quarantine process because anytime an animal breaks the skin of a person they have to be quarantined for 10 days and when the officer came out to explain the process is when she surrendered the dog. We would like to review the medical records relating to this bite. Uh, what is being called into question is the severity of the bite so we would just like to evaluate that and see where we stand. The attorney for the Lexus project did come in last week and meet with our division manager to learn how to file the appeal process, but that is the extent of the contact that we've had with them. Basically, what they're appealing is is our desire to, um, per the law, euthanize the dog. So they are appealing that decision. So at the end of that, I think we'll decide where we're at. And if they want him to possibly go to a rescue group, or if they want him back home, see where we're at then. He's currently in our dog isolation area, which is a building separate from our general dogs area, which is where the General Dogs is where the public walks through looking for adoptable dogs and dogs held for a stray whole time. He is not available for adoption, so that's why he's not in that building. At this point where we're at, this is a legal matter. We're in litigation, so while we appreciate everyone's desire to help, there's not really anything that we can do right now but wait. We are doing our best to follow the law as it is written, doing our jobs, and we are taking good care of Rufus in the process. And we have several hundred other shelter pets, and if somebody is looking for a dog to adopt, we got it.